In the previous lesson, you have discovered what were variables, and so far you've only used variables to store integer numbers. But in fact, there are many more types you can use. Let's discover the most important ones now that you will basically need in all of your future programs. And again, for any variable you create, make sure to give a meaningful name like that, for example. Here I'm just going back to using A and B and stuff, so it's just easier to explain you the variables, okay, but keep in mind to give meaningful names. So what you've seen for now is the integer type. I'm just going to print A again. Okay, so integer is simply a round number. Okay, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. You can have also minus, um, minus 5, okay, is an integer number. So minus infinite to plus infinite just with round numbers. What you can have now, the second type you can have is float number. So let's say 3.5. 14. So when you have a comma here, when you have a float number, you simply need to put a point, okay, that will make a float number. So now if I run the script, you can see that A is now 3.14. So basically you have two different types for numbers, the integer numbers and the float numbers. Now you can also use strings. So, for example, hello. We've seen that before with the hello world programs, okay? You use quotes, okay? And between the quotes, you put any text. You can also put a number, just, just anything you want, okay? And this will be a string. So now A is a string. So that type will be very useful whenever you want to deal with text. And the fourth type I want to show you here is the Boolean type, okay? So the Boolean type is basically true or false. It is a two states type. So you have true, okay? As you can see here, we have a special color, okay? When you type true, you can have true or you can have false, okay? So if you don't have this color, it means that you didn't write correctly the true or false, okay? This is an uppercase, not lowercase. If I do that, we have an error because false is not defined, okay? It will try to look at a variable named false, which doesn't exist. But the keyword false with uppercase is actually a keyword in Python, okay? That is recognized by the program. So now if you print A, it's false. And if I set it back to true, now A is true. Okay, so that's it for the types for no integer, float, string, and boolean. As you can see, the type of a variable is dynamically set when you create the variable. You don't need to specify any type here before the, the name of the variable. With languages like C, C++, and Java, you would have to specify the type when you create the variable, but not in Python, okay? In Python, it is dynamically set. So if you want to check the type of a variable, you can actually do that by using the type function. As you can see, when I use type, here you can see the, the color changes because it is recognized by the IDE. So I can use type and then parenthesis and the name of the variable. Okay, so we have print, okay, the print function with parenthesis and inside we have the type function with parenthesis, okay? So what will happen is first the type will be evaluated and then the type will be printed. As you can see here, we have class bool. So this is a boolean. If I do one class int 1.0, okay, you can just use 0 0.0 and now it is becoming a float number. Okay, and if I put it with quotes like this, now it is a string object. So if you are not sure about a type, you can simply use that command type with the name of the variable and then you can eventually print that type to see what's inside a variable. 
And this type settings also means that you could change a variable types anytime in your program. For example, I could have a which is okay, let's put um, hello, okay, to make it obvious that it is a string. I can then do something with that and then I can set two, for example, in A and let's print type of A again. So I run the script and you can see the first time that it is evaluated, we have class str. So this is a string and then it is an integer. So that is something that you could theoretically do. However, this practice is strongly discouraged. Even if you can theoretically change a type of a variable at any time, in practice, this is a very good way to mess up your programs and get a lot of errors. So when you've set a variable, when you've defined a variable, you can change it to any value after that, but stick to values that are of the same type as the original one. So in this case, if A is a string, then A would stay a string and then I'm only using it for strings uh, data types. One advice to avoid mistakes with types is simply to use meaningful names for your variables. So for example, let's say I have a Wi-Fi name variable and I give it a string. So for example, your Wi-Fi, okay. So this is pretty clear that this will contain a string. So later on, you will not use it to actually store a number, okay? If I have a user age variable, let's say 45, it's pretty clear that user age will stay an integer number, okay? Then for example, temperature can be 20.3, okay? Temperature will not be a Boolean, temperature will not be a string, okay? And is alive, for example, true or false, you can expect is alive to be a boolean. So that is how basically you can avoid mistakes with types. And at any point, you can also check the type of any variable with the type function is alive. For example, this will give bool and you can put that inside a print function. So to recap, you can use different types for variables depending on the value you want to store. For example, integers, float numbers, strings, and booleans.